Hello friends, welcome back to another session of Web Technologies Tutorial. In today's class, I'm going to discuss about XML parsers. Any parser that you take does nothing but read a particular document. So here we are talking about XML parser. So it takes the XML document, it reads the XML document, and it will convert it in such a way that the programs can use the content that is there in this particular XML document. Because they cannot directly access the tags of XML document, the XML document need to be put in such a way that the programs can use this particular content. So there are uh, two types of uh, XML parsers. There are new ones coming up as well. Uh, so the first one is the DOM. DOM is a parser. And the second one is SAX, which is SAX parser. Now coming to the first one, which is DOM uh, object model. Uh, so wherein the XML DOM defines the properties and methods for accessing and editing the XML. And before an XML document can be accessed, it must be loaded into an XML DOM object. And today, all the browsers, all the modern browsers have got this built-in XML parsers, be it DOM or SAX or uh, STX or anything. It has got this built-in XML parsers are there. So these, these built-in parsers will convert the text into an XML DOM object. So now let us look into, for more detailed understanding of this particular DOM, please refer to my previous video. So in today's class, I'm going to discuss about what is SAX and I will discuss the difference between SAX and DOM. So let me uh, make you understand what is SAX. Okay, so what is SAX? SAX stands for Simple API for XML. And you also have a recent one, which is called as STAX. STAX is the most recent one um, over SAX and DOM. So what do SAX stands for? Simple API for XML. STAX stands for Streaming API for XML, right? So what is SAX? SAX is uh, used for passing XML document and it is based on events. So event generated while reading through the document. So callback methods receive these particular events to actually handle these particular events. You need to write the code, which is nothing but this customer custom handler is nothing but the code that you need to write, uh, which contains those callback methods. Okay, so these callback methods will receive the events and you need to write the code into these particular methods, how to handle those particular events, right? And uh, the API is efficient. So we are talking about SAX. SAX API is efficient because it drops events right after the callbacks, okay? Callbacks received them. So because it doesn't keep anything into the memory, okay? So it doesn't keep these particular events in the memory. As soon as these events are handled, uh, are um, reached to the callback methods, these particular events are dropped. So that's why SAX has efficient memory management. Then DOM. Okay, so now let us try to look into the differences between these three particular um, XML parsers. So the difference between SAX and DOM and also we'll be looking into STAX also in detail. So the first difference is in terms of API type. Okay, so API stands for Application Programming Interface. So the API type for STAX is pull type. Okay, so it is pull streaming and SAX is push streaming. Now, what is the difference between pull and push is that? So in pull, the client will have the control when to handle the events. But in push, the events need to be handled then and there itself. So that's the difference between the pull mechanism and the push mechanism. So the DOM is in memory tree. Okay, so the type of the API of DOM is in memory tree. Now, ease of use, like you can use it, um, uh, DOM and SDAX are easy to use compared to SAX. And next is XPath capability. What is XPath? XPath is defined by W3C and can be used to compute values from the con content that is there in XML document. So you can compute the values from the uh, XML document. So that capability is called as XPath. Okay, so you can take the strings, numbers, booleans or anything and you can compute the values. And it is not supported in stacks or not supported in SAX, but this is supported in DOM. 
Next, coming to CPU and memory efficient, as I already told you that it is good in SAX and SDX, but it varies in DOM. Now, coming to forward only, so forward only is supported in SDX and SAX, it is not supported in DOM. Now, read XML is supported in SAX and SAX and then in the DOM, but write XML is not supported in SAX. Okay, so it is supported in DOM, but it is not supported in SAX, but it is again supported in SDX. Now, create, read, update, and delete operations are not supported in SAX and SDX, but they're supported in DOM. Apart from these differences, let us look some more differences between SAX and DOM. So as we know that DOM is tree-based, so it is a tree-based parsing method. Uh, SAX is event-based parsing. SAX is event-based parsing method. So DOM is tree-based and SAX is event-based. And coming to another difference, okay, so the another difference between DOM and SAX is that, uh, so DOM is used on uh, small to medium XML documents, whereas SAX is used on large XML documents, okay? So it is used when there is, when there is very large XML document. So another difference can be like uh, bi-directional uh, navigation or traversal um, in the XML document is possible using DOM parser. So bi-directional navigation or bi-directional traversal of the XML document is possible in DOM. Whereas in SAX, you cannot do the bi-directional uh, traversal. You can just go from the top to bottom of the XML file. Okay, so these are the differences and I hope everybody understood what is SAX and DOM. Thank you for watching.